Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and in today's video, we will take a look at the latest updates to Goodlock as it pertains to Samsung One UI 8.5 beta, because they were able to update some Goodlock modules the past couple days. Now, when you open up Goodlock, you'll be able to see the ones that you have installed first on the very top. If there is a update, you'll see a little icon, and I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. For all of the ones that you don't have installed, it's gonna be these ones down over here, and that's the little download icon. So I wouldn't know if there's any updates for these ones currently just because I don't have them downloaded. Now, I took a screenshot of some of these modules, and this right there, that is the icon to look at, just to see that there is a update for that module. Now, the three that they updated for Samsung One UI 8.5 is Theme Park, you also have QuickStar, which is a important one for me because I like this one. It's very functional, not just for customizations. And then the Display Assistant. You can see here that Display Assistant is now supported with One UI 8.5. For QuickStar, it's also supported for uh, One UI 8.5. Now the one temporary limitation is this right here. So the Quick Change Settings Button Grid feature is unavailable on One UI 8.5 devices, but it will be improved and then brought back with the main release. So this is one where if I pull down my notifications panel and we take a look at this little grid right here, this is where I turned it into narrow. Narrow meant that I was able to show more icons in my quick settings right here, rather than having to go by that, uh, that, that option of four by whatever, depending on how many you have. I was able to show five, so I was able to show more quick settings that you're able to view just a little bit quicker. So that will be added in soon, but you can see right there on the very top that I have the time, the day, the month, and the date. So I have all of that right back up there on the very top, which I like. Also with that display assistant, I was able to throw this one in here, which is a little quick toggle that'll keep my screen on for 30 minutes. Now on the weekend, sometimes I'm selling 3D prints, I'm setting up as a vendor, sometimes I just wanna keep my screen on so that my son is able to also uh, run the square as well. So that is one of those features that I do like to have and that's coming from the display assistant. Then you also have theme park and this one was updated so it's going to work and they added in a uh, the home screen badge color setting which is available from One UI 8.5. Now if you don't have, let's say that you just have regular Samsung One UI 8, you don't have this feature, but then you have the updates that work for the rest of these up over here. So since they brought in the update for Theme Park and Quickstar and Display Assistant, I was also able to read from the community of somebody who works on the team of Goodlock, and they said what is next is Lockstar, HomeUp, as well as Star. So those are the three that will be coming next. And there's also been a ton of updates right before this for Camera Assistant, and that is what's given you all of these brand new features that is a part of the camera in Samsung One UI 8.5. Now, this one is gonna be its own separate video where I'm gonna go more in depth with this. So you have more focus peaking in pro modes, you have the touch autofocus and auto exposure in pro video, and you can actually separate the two away from each other. You also have a bunch of, let's see here, advanced photo mode controls. So you'll have more advanced controls inside of the regular photo mode, advanced resolution options. So this one was there from before, uh, but there's a lot of really cool things that was added in. Also, you have 3D capture, and this would be for your Galaxy XR. The single take as well as dual record is now back. So if you were running on Samsung One UI 8.5 beta and you went to more, that is where these were gone but now they're back. So there's a lot of really cool things that you can do inside of video as well as photo. You also have your white balance slide, your exposure slide, so you can move this around and it makes it very simple and easy to use. So that's gonna be its own separate video, but let's go inside of GoodLock and let me show you just a couple of these modules. Now, one that I wanna show off is gonna be QuickStar because again, this one is my favorite because it's something that is more functional than just kind of customizing your phone. This is where you go right there to your clock settings. This is where you can show the date. And you can also customize how you want it to show up. The day, the month, and then the date. And then you also have these options right there. If you only want it to be Friday, then you can only have it as Friday. So I just like this one because no matter what application, no matter what I'm doing, I'd be able to see the date right up over there. And again, it makes it uh, easy. Again, if I'm inside of settings, I know exactly what it is. Sometimes I just wanna know what day it is because again, I do work from home. And then you can show the seconds 
and that is when you pull this down. So you have the seconds that is sitting right there. If you don't want that to show, then you can just toggle that off. You can change where you want your position and, and visibility of the clock settings. You have left, you can also hide it and you can move it to the right, which kind of just you know clogs some things up. So that is clock settings. That's a big one that I really like to use. Again, the portion that we don't have is that grid where you would go from wide or normal or narrow and it just brings in more of those quick settings towards the very top. You can also change your visibility of some of the, the uh, you know icons up there. So if you wanna take some of those away, and then here is that status bar indicator swipe. So this is what it looks like. So if you wanted your uh, notifications over here on the left, and then you wanted your quick settings over here on the right, you can do it and you can actually just split it right where that camera is if you want it to be a little bit more easier to use. Uh, I believe I had mine somewhere right around this. So this way I knew on the very top, anywhere within this area where I have those indicators, then I would be able to pull into my quick settings. But I'm gonna try this for a little while, just because we can. And if you want to, you can also style the quick panel. But because I already get so many different questions about how my phone is set up, I'm just gonna keep it kind of the same way. All I do is I just use uh, the color palette and I'm using dark mode. Between dark mode and color palette, that's really all the customizations I do with my phone. Because other than that, I would get questions so many times in every single video. Now let's go into display assistant. So this is now finally working with Samsung One UI 8.5. And a few things you can do here is you can change the apps screen timeout and you can set a timeout for each application. So if there's a particular app that you want uh, open longer than default or one that's open shorter than default, you can go through each individual app if you want or just a few of them. Here's the keep screen on. This is the one that I toggled on. So I added in that quick setting. And so that's where I can just tap on that. It's gonna stay on for me. Or if I know I'm busy, if I'm cooking, if I'm doing whatever, it's gonna keep the screen on for me. Here's the brightness limit profile. So if you want it to be standard or light. So all this one does is it limits the brightness when your phone is getting hot. So let's say that you're outside in Arizona and it's getting super hot. If you're inside of like a sauna or something and your phone is getting hotter, what happens is standard, it'll limit the maximum brightness of the screen at high temperatures. And this one is keeping it lighter. So it'll stay more maximum brightness. So it won't be affected at high temperatures. Next up is the adaptive brightness option. And this just means how fast do you want your brightness to change? So when you have that adaptive brightness turned on, do you want it to go twice as fast? Do you want it to go four times as fast? Or just the regular speed when it comes down to the adaptive brightness? And then you also have your standard refresh rate. And so you're able to go per application if you'd like to apply the standard refresh rate. So again, this will kind of help extend your battery life. And in here is your screen curtain. So it extends the battery life by applying a screen curtain mode when operation is maintained for a long time without viewing the screen. So when this helps right here for screen curtain, it's a mode and it just puts a screen kind of in a dose state. So it's kind of like you're just pulling the screen down. It puts you in like a little black screen right there. Everything is still fully running in the background. It's just a way for you if you know you're gonna put it in your pocket or set it down and you wanna continue exactly where you are without it having to refresh or move the application or whatever you're doing. You just can't do it during phone calls, playing games, or on YouTube and YouTube music. And then lastly, you do have that one little added feature for theme park, and I don't really use theme park. I have it on the phone, but I rarely ever use it. So what it was able to do again was added the home screen badge color setting, and that is available from One UI Home 8.5. So that's everything I wanted to cover in today's video. You have the updated Theme Park, Quick Star, and Display Assistant working with Samsung One UI 8.5. And then coming up next is Lock Star, Home Up, and Noti Star. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.